Overwatch, we have contact with the native in the old sawmill. We've wounded her, but it looks like they set traps around the perimeter. I've got one casualty so far. Doing a sweep. Don't shoot. I'm with Jacob. He told us to wait for you, but these bastards found us first. Oh, God. Are you all right? I'll live. But I need a safe place to rest, in case the invaders return. There's a cave across the bridge over there. A wolf den. They won't look there. But I can't clear it out on my own. Not like this. If you could kill them, we'll have a safe place to regroup. I might even have something for that pistol of yours. Can you help us? Yes, of course. Stay out of sight. I'll be back. Thank you. Jacob was right about you. Do not let the target slip away. We need to know why they were following Bravo Team. Bravo hasn't run into any more resistance along the way. But find the got contact! We need to get the You got it! Got to be hiding in here somewhere. Maybe there's a trail. If there's someone in here, it's safe. You can come out now. Must still be hiding. They must still be hiding in here. Maybe one of these lockers. Cave? Is it safe? The cave is clear. If you head there now, you'll be safe. Thank you. 
Here, take this. Jacob told us to protect you, but you weren't the one who needed it. Big enough to hide in. Blood. The hurt. Stop! No closer! I'm not with Trinity. My name is Lara, and your gun isn't loaded. I can see the cylinder is empty. The firing pin never worked anyway. You're hurt. I just need to sit down for a moment. Lara, was it? I'm Nadia. I could use your help. What can I do? My grandfather snuck out of the village in the night. I think he's headed for the Wicked Vale, where the witch Baba Yaga lives. I was trying to catch up with him when the invaders caught me. Before I was born, the witch killed my grandmother. Grandpa always talked about revenge, but I never thought he'd actually go through with it. There isn't much time, and I'm in no condition to go myself. We have to find him. I'll head out that way and see if I can pick up his trail. Oh, thank you. The path to the Vale is through the cave to the east of here. <sighs> Jacob's people were forced to work here. Worn. <sighs> Laura, I found a radio on one of the invaders you killed. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. I can monitor the invaders' frequencies from here while I patch myself up. I'll let you know if I hear anything useful.
What more can you tell me about the Wicked Veil, Nadia? My people stay far away from that place. They have for centuries. When the Soviets were here, they tried to build an outpost in the Veil. But they angered Baba Yaga, and <laughs> she drove them all mad. Grandpa told me all about her. She lives in a magic house that can walk with the legs of a bird. Do you believe all that? The house with the bird legs? I trust Grandpa. He was in the Gulag when the Soviets took my grandmother into the Vale to help them study the ruins. The witch killed her, and she's never forgotten that. But a witch straight out of a Russian folktale? Shit! Steady. I'm picking up a transmission. You need to hear this. Overwatch! Come in! We need immediate extraction! Shit! What the hell is that? It's walking? definitely happening out there. Whatever it is, we'll get to the bottom of it. No need to go inside the old temple. Head down to the wooden walkway along the cliff. There should be a rope leading to it. That path will take you straight to the veil. Without this place, th hmm. this was some sort of a shrine. Pilgrims came here to show their respect. There, at least this counterweight still works. Counterweight is stuck. I've got to get through that door. Say you never forget the f <sighs> the count. 
to wait. If I could get it free somehow. Maybe I could swing it. Somehow. Maybe I could swing it, somehow. Hmm, what's this blade? Got it! Now to open the door. of meditations on willpower. Walkway along the cliff. A ceremonial cloth worn by priests during Mass. Grandpa made it that far, at least. You're almost into the veil. Nadia, I think I found your wicked veil. I don't know if it's Baba Yaga, but there's something out here. Be careful. This is her land. Nadia, my granddaughter. By now you already know. I am going into the...
Initial contact was made with the elderly. Hallucinating. God, I hope I was. Hallucinating? There... There is a flower <clears throat> in a valley that can bring on visions, but the effects are too weak. Any idea what this place is? I see ducks and pipes. Soviet from the looks of it. 
It has to be the outpost the Soviets built to study the ruins. My grandmother was a scholar and they brought her here to help with her research, but that was the last time Grandpa ever saw her. There was only one survivor, an officer who stumbled out a few weeks later. He said the witch made them do things. Someone's been in here, recently, building on top of the ruins. What do you see? Some sort of makeshift distillery. It smells just like the flowers. Shit! Of course! She's refining the pollen, weaponizing it. There's no magic here, no need to seem very clever. Wait, but if it is just a person, then wouldn't the pollen affect her too? If she can resist it somehow, then so can we. I never held my daughter. They took her from me on the surgeon's table. I It's been weeks since these bastards dragged me from the Gulag, from Yvonne and my daughter, to this strange vale. They have tasked me with finding some way of counteracting the unusual effects of the pollen that hangs in the air. I found something. One of the prisoners wrote down a formula that might counteract the effects of the pollen. It has to be for my grandmother. The witch killed her and now she's going to help save Grandpa, just like in one of his stories. Uh, Nadia. Have faith, Laura. Hop back to the Soviet installation where we met. I'll help you find what you need. I don't have the words to describe what I just saw. I went inside the wicked Vale, looking for Nadia's grandfather. I barely escaped with my life. It was like a fairy tale, but through a broken, filthy mirror. And, Dad, I know intellectually it was all in my mind, but the gunshot is still ringing in my ears. There's something terrible going on in there, and while I don't believe that it is magic, it is extraordinary. I have to find out what's behind all this, but first, I have to find a way to see clearly. All right, Nadia, I'm back at the installation. Any advice on where to start looking? Okay, first, the seed pots. The flowers grow inside the caves around there. There's never enough of them to make you sick, so you should be able to gather some safely. The livers should be easy. The deer around there feed on the flowers, so you'll just need to track them down. As for the insecticide, I have an idea where we might find some. 
Grandpa taught me to read Russian, so I'm going through some old equipment manifest to see if I can find out where they stored it. I'll let you know when I find it. All right. I'll start gathering the other supplies now. You've seen the mine by the old Soviet facility? Many of our people died there. Hello. Careful of the death cap mushrooms that grow in the valley. You wouldn't want to eat them, but they make a powerful poison. Many of our people worked the mines for the Soviets. Even after we drove them out, they died of a strange sickness. It's the flowers. Just need the seed pods now. Ah, uh, you're back. We could use you. Hello. Laura, I got something you'll want to hear. I'm patching you in. Bravo team is still MIA. We haven't got any transmissions since the distress call. We're gonna need to send a rescue party. Finish up your patrol around the Soviet installation. See if you can pick up the native girl's trail. She's involved in Bravo's disappearance somehow. And we need better intel before we send more of you in there. The Copy that.